we're going to be doing a form of qigong, which is a form of Chinese medicine of movement. It's a movement meditation. So I learned over pandemic and found a couple things that I thought were really great. The first one will be shaking tree. Simply just shake like this for about a minute. When you shake like this, you recalibrate your, your mind and body and you can change your mood the fastest way is to shake basically. So the first thing we're gonna do is just shake for a minute. So just bounce and, and bend your knees a little so it's not so abrupt for your knees. You know, and you can close your eyes or open them and you'll see the difference after you're done. And you can do this for a minute, three minutes, five minutes, and you'll really see the difference. If you close your eyes, it will be a little more challenging because your body will go off balance somewhat. So best to keep your eye planted on something. But if you can close your eyes, then just feel the like meditative state that you're in. Take an inhale in and then exhale out. And just sit there and feel, let the energy run through your body. So the next exercise is called Zen Swing or Swinging Arms. And this one's a little more complex. We bend our knees a little and we're gonna take our arms and literally swing them back and forth. And you can do this for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20. Close your eyes if you want a more of a meditative state of mind. And just swing. Try to do it in a rhythmic pattern. but you really will see the meditative effects if you try to do it for 15 to 20 minutes. You'll really see a difference in how you feel. And I used to do this before I started yoga or started doing my practice. You can also bend down for your your neck. And just keep going. You'll get into the rhythm of it. I know it just feel really nice actually. Good for your spine, just good for all the joints. Oops, circulation. Again, we're gonna stop and just hold and feel what that felt like and just sit and feel your body. Now we do another one called ape arms and that's almost the same thing as Zen swing or swinging arms, but instead we're going to lift our arms up and then go down, but keep a, uh, your knees slightly bent because if you keep a straight leg, you'll strain your back, which you don't want. So we want to bend our legs, lift up, inhale and exhale when you go down. You can do this for a minute, two minutes, this will help your breathing patterns.
This is good for surfers to hold their breath when they're getting tumbled in waves. And we just stand still. Our next one is called Two Hands Holding the Sky. And now we bend our legs again in our meditative stance. We lace our fingers and we raise them like this. Just follow. You inhale and exhale slowly. And we inhale again. Inhale to your chest. Exhale. You inhale. And you exhale. And we repeat this five times. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The slower you do it, the better. They say it creates more chi the slower you can. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale, excuse me. And stand and hold. Now we do an another one called, we start at the same Dantian, which is this pose right here. And we lift. And we turn our left hand out. We raise it and your right hand goes down slowly and bring it down in a half circle now we do the other side inhale exhale inhale exhale we do inhale And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Try to do it slow. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we stand with our downtown, close our eyes, and let our balance take us where we want it. Our next step is a facial massage where 
I, ju I learned this recently because I would get clogged nose from surfing. And I know I wasn't sick, but I needed to release it because it was just trapped water in my face. And so I recently just discovered this facial massage where you take your knuckles and you run them down this part of your neck. We'll do this 50 times and then we're gonna go up our jawline just slowly. 50 times. After you're done with that, right here, 50 times. After that, we're gonna take our fingers like this and apply them lightly right on the bridge of our nose. We're gonna slowly just press away like this. And you're just gonna keep rubbing. And just keep going. And once you're done with that, after 50 times, we're gonna make our hands like claws. We're gonna put them right above our eye eyebrows. So, if you can see like this, we're gonna go like this. And just keep spreading your forehead. And after 50 times, you go to your top of your head and you go down like this and you go all the way to the back of your head and start again. Do this about 10 times. And it definitely clears me up when I have a clogged nose and it creates um, a release basically. So anytime you either have allergies or have a clogged nose, it's honestly one of the best things and I, I was astonished when I found out that it actually worked.